It's a big day for Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Could he get some interim relief today at the Delhi High Court where his plea has been filed challenging the arrest? What does this mean? A day after, Amadni Party MP Sanjay Singh was given some legal relief. He's, being, uh, he's going to walk out today out of prison after six months. Arvind Kejriwal may have hope now if they will also be able to get out very soon. But here's what's going to become troublesome. Enforcement Directorate has been very clear. Arvind Kejriwal has been called not just as an accused but the kingpin of the liquor policy case. But Kejriwal in his plea to the High Court has termed his arrest illegal, claiming that his human rights are being violated. The ED maintains that they have enough chain trail not only about how he benefited, but allegedly that Arvind Kejriwal was directly involved in formulating the policy and sought kickbacks from liquor barons. Listen in to a full political showdown that has erupted over this. Jo Sharab Karobari Sharat Chandra Reddy ne Pachpan Karod Rupia Bharatiya Janta Party ko diya. जो इस केस की इकलौती एस्टैब्लिश्ड मनी ट्रेल है उसकी ईडी जांच करेगी उस पे ईडी अपनी एफआईआर फाइल करेगी भारतीय जनता पार्टी को आरोपी बनाएगी और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष को गिरफ्तार करेगी और उनसे पूछताछ करेगी क्योंकि मनी ट्रेल अगर इस पूरे केस में कोई है तो वो शराब कारोबारी शरद रेड्डी से भारतीय जनता पार्टी तक है विधायकों ने कहा भाभी भारतीय जनता पार्टी बहुत प्रेशर बनाएगी अलग अलग तर्क कुतर्क दिए जाएंगे कि अरविंद केजरीवाल जी मुख्यमंत्री के पद से इस्तीफा दे दें तो उनको सभी विधायकों ने कहा कि जब आज आप मुख्यमंत्री जी से मिले आपकी वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग पे बात हो तो आप मुख्यमंत्री जी को यह संदेश सारे विधायक साथियों की तरफ से दीजिएगा कि अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ईडी ने यह भी माना कि 45 करोड़ रुपया जो गोवा इलेक्शन में खर्च किया गया वो दिल्ली से शराब घोटाले का वहां पर ट्रांसफर किया गया था आम आदमी पार्टी जो पीपल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव एक्ट के तहत कॉन्स्टिट्यूट हुई है इसने मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग का काम किया है इस पार्टी ने पीएमएलए के सेक्शन सेवेंटी की उल्लंघना की है इसका मतलब इस पार्टी के ऊपर भी शराब घोटाले के और प्रोवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट की धारा लागू होती है आई थिंक इट रिक्वायर हाई टाइम दैट पर्सन है but my, i am very firm in my view that the public morality demands it if the government for its government services makes such a provision of team suspension in 48 hours of custody here you are in custody for so many days and all and god knows how long and merely because there is no provision that doesn't give you authority to continue and right outside, Sanjay Singh's residence is Ashutosh Mishra, who's been tracking uh, Amadi Party for years now. Ashutosh, good morning. What kind of a moment could this mean for Sanjay Singh? Six months behind bars, uh, he's been able to get out. I would say it's a relief compared to Manish Sisodia, Satendra Jain, who've been uh, in the custody and be behind bars for over a year now. But how do you think Sanjay Singh here on will take this further? Because they have been alleging that ED is deliberately going after them, agencies are going after them. But now, Sanjay Singh has got the bail that he wanted. And the biggest emanation that probably the Amadi party will be using, that it is the same ED which also said that Sanjay Singh was mastermind. The same agency in the court while opposing his bail in Rouse Avenue and the High Court said that he was into positions, positions of certain documents which were not part of the judicial uh, order or the judicial uh, process, rather only the, the ED documents. So that was two times, if you remember, the ED very strongly opposed bail of Sanjay Singh under the PMLA 45, uh, both in High Court and uh, Rouse Avenue Court. But it was Supreme 
court when categorically asked the enforcement directorate that where are the money trail, where are the predicate offense, and probably before uh, Sanjay Singh could test under the 45 section of PMLA, where Supreme Court said that we are in that opinion that prima facie there is no case, and in that case that would have literally destroyed even the entire case. And probably now since ED did not oppose the bail, that gives biggest ammunition to Sanjay Singh. Indeed, he is out on bail, but that's what Amadi Party you will hear. Um, uh, Gopal Rai, party president, cabinet minister, who will be addressing a press conference at, at 10 a.m. But the biggest political emanation that Sanjay Singh in the Amadi party has achieved is getting a bail in the PMLA case and this Delhi excise case. What, what will happen now, once he walks out, we'll have to also see the bail condition imposed by Rao's Avenue Court. Whether he will be allowed to engage in the political activities, which most likely to be because he's a public representative. But he cannot speak on the merit of the case or his own case, which usual has been we are seeing in different cases uh, when it comes to the uh, bail conditions of any individual, any accused in certain cases. But the Aam Aadmi Party will certainly make, and you already witnessing, since last uh, evening, ever since the bail was granted from the Supreme Court, they are making this an issue that look how they, the, under the stringent law, these people have been, our leaders have been denied the bail, but somehow once get, uh, you know, success to achieve a bail in the PMLA section, and they will question the entire excise case. Yeah, 2 PM is when we are expecting our gathering that you see yeah. of the... Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. You're showing us around. Uh, go ahead. What is happening at yeah. uh, the Sanjay Singh? Sir? Yes, these are the Amadi Party supporters, workers, Sanjay Singh supporters who are, have already started gathering him. Even mm. see, this was the uh, series happening since yesterday. They have been all gathering here till late evening. And the family, as they have gone to uh, the hospital to meet Sanjay Singh, yes. then the entire process will take so place. But three once inside, he walks out, we'll be one at least walking out, Sanjay Singh, time. who's been the closest aide uh, after Manish Sisodia for Arvind Kejriwal ever since the party was founded. Also, to give us a legal perspective, our correspondent Kanu Sarda is joining me. 